all right this is the final video of the three part of this metal and wood door ladies and gentlemen um, i did some good cleaning on this sand it down a wire brush it uh, this is one of my welds right there and um well don't forget to subscribe uh, press the like button and smash the notification bell now um i'm going to put some flat bars right there and uh, this is going to accommodate the wooden part of the door now um what i'm doing there you could see i put all these clamps here uh, what i'm going to show you i'll show you with the next one i'm putting there i'm just stacking this this piece of this piece of flat bar and then i will pass and i'll give it a inch and a half to two inch wells every um a few three sections maybe four of the that piece of metal uh, that i just welded there now what I'm doing, I'm putting this little piece of 2x2 two two square bar, just clamp it there, clamping the other one. Now because of the weight, the, this piece of bar I'm holding there, I'm putting the magnet to support it up, nice and flush to the um, square bar that is the edge of the door. And um, hold on, I'm going to take this there, put it on this side because uh, it was in my way. I couldn't weld properly right there. I'm putting it back, making sure everything on. Now I'm taking my hands right uh, with the with the gloves and I'm holding that piece of wood up. So that's why those two little pieces of metal there. So it will, it's holding it to a limited amount of space right there. It cannot go any further than that. Okay, now I'm going to the other side, placing the magnets then i have to pull that to the edge so i could get the clamps to hold okay i have it there holding it up and welding uh, this is it now this piece there it's a little lighter it's a little shorter so the magnet could hold it i'm going to do that to the upper part and the lower part Okay, this here, and then I'm just going to give it a little tack, just to hold it, I could get rid of the magnets in the previous ones, get rid of the clamps and the piece of uh, square bar. So I'm welding this here, making sure it's nice and flush. Flush, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is it. Now I usually take a wire brush and I clean up the, the welds. Uh, this is just a little passing on i did a little better work now i'm giving it the inch and a half to two inch um welds right there i'm not welding that flat bar all the way okay and that will take a lot of time it'll take a lot of welding material and here you could see the space you could see the short welds you could see the space right there what i did was fill that with bondo well i'm not a body man uh, kudos to those body men who are patient in do, doing a little much much more detailed work uh, they earn their money um, I learned that from putting bond on this thing here uh, so whenever you see a body man charges I know how it what it is to get the work or attempt to get that work done it, it, it takes a lot from you I know I'm cutting some pieces of one by six tongue and groove that's what will be going within the empty space right there I cut this one a little short I had to cut it to the right length and then continue cutting the others well so much for this what I'm going to do is just I'm not going to show you cutting those pieces I'm just gonna they already cut pre-cut and I'm just gonna shove them in there now notice that door has two sections if I had to put those one by all the way from the top to the bottom it wouldn't be as strong now at the back of this i'm also going to put right there i'm also going to put a half inch piece of plywood and i'm going to screw it to the rear of course the face you won't see the screw nails on the face of this here no paint time what i did i take some um can spray and I spray the metal part after I prepared it it's prepared right there 
after I spray the metal part, you could see it, you could see those, see those separate, you could, well, uh, you don't see the groove. I filled it with Mondo and that paint made it look a little better. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some Mimwax finish, uh, that stain, uh, give it a generous amount of that stain so it could seep into the wood. And I'm giving it, well, I'm doing one, that's the next one, and that's the next one there until I get to the final piece. When I do that, I'm going to sand it. Yeah, I'm going to sand it again. I'm preparing it for the second coat of that stain. Okay, I'm resting this here, let them dry. After they dry, I'm here, I'm giving that light sand take out those uneven spots preparing it to get that next um, coat next coat of stain all right here here we go put that uh, piece of cloth you don't need a brush for that right there in a little bottle instead of taking it out there the gallon of stain I have there, I have that. I had that there for a while. Okay, then I'm, after I dried, I gave it three coats. After I dried, I rest it on there. The more coats you give it, the darker it gets. I, I noticed that. I put the upper part, the lower part, and what I'm going to do to secure it, I'm going to weld those piece of flat bars right here to the inner part of the door, and that will secure it. Uh, so that a wooden part won't cave in if you push it. Now this is, I just saw the picture of it before. This is the picture presently where it look like. And this is a closer look. And this is a look, you could see the finishing work on the, on the masonry part and the edges of the building. That's the next video. Here you could see some trimmings that I put uh, from some reclaimed wood I got. And here a picture before and after. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to subscribe, press the like button and smash the notification bell. You could leave a comment also. For those of you able bodies out there, get out that couch, get out from behind that flat screen and uh, just get something done, man. See you on the next go round.